Hi, I'm Felicia Pinckney, the Director of Operations at the Natchitoches Parish School Board. I'm here to update you on our virtual programs for the 2021 school year. This form is meant to respond to the questions that you have had and you've been submitting over the last few weeks. But before we begin, I'd like to make sure that everyone understands what it means to be a full virtual learning student in Natchitoches Parish. Virtual students in Natchitoches Parish will receive instruction via Google Classroom. Students will have a teacher who will provide them with instruction and feedback each week. Students will also receive grades according to the Natchitoches Parish School Board's grading policy. Learning will be a mixture of both live and independent work sessions. As stated in an earlier town hall meeting, students need to be prepared to access the internet on a daily basis. The Louisiana Department of Education has provided guidance on a number of minutes each day students should be engaged in live instruction. More information on those suggested number of minutes is provided in our Strong Start plan on our website. One of the most asked questions over the last few weeks is, when will students receive devices and or materials to prepare for virtual learning? And the answer is, schools are now in the process of creating distribution schedules for students in our virtual programs. That information will be shared via school websites and as well as our, our social media avenues. However, please know that registration packets for each student must be completed prior to receiving a device. These registration packets provide schools with information to either enter into our District J campus system and or update student records. Also remember that parents and or guardians must accompany the virtual students when picking up these devices. Another question is, how will attendance be taken? Virtual students must complete daily assignments in order for them to be considered present. In an effort to provide flexibility for our families in our district, those assignments can be completed after school hours, but must be completed during that day. The next question is, will students need access to school supplies? There is a suggested school supply list for students who are fully virtual located on our district's website. That document is included in our Strong Start plan. We encourage, also encourage our parents to work with teachers to ensure that students have what they need for each course that they are taking. Question, can virtual students participate in extracurricular activities? We want to reemphasize that students in full virtual learning can participate in extracurricular activities as long as they provide their own transportation. Another question, lots of questions about when can I change my mind? When can I say that I want to return to face-to-face -face instruction or I would like to proceed with virtual learning? There will be a two-week window from the start of school where decisions can be made to return to face-to-face -face instruction or proceed with virtual learning. We ask that once that two-week window closes, students remain in whatever they choose for the remainder of the nine weeks. The window of students returning to face-to-face -face instruction will open two other times throughout the school year, once on October 28th and the other on January 20th. What are the expectations of students and parents for virtual learning? The virtual expectations for parents and students are, of course, also posted on our website in our Strong Start plan. We expect both our parents and students to be respectful of the teachers and as well as other students. This will be a challenging process, but we need the support of our parents more than ever. I also want to answer a few questions about the AB hybrid model we are implementing at the high school level. Biggest question, when will students know if they are in an A group or a B group? Students will know if they are to attend Tuesdays or Thursdays or Wednesdays and Fridays within the next week. This includes our full virtual learners for high school. Every single high school student will be placed in either an A or a B group. This information, of course, will also be shared via social media and school websites. And, of course, 
Will students attend school on Mondays? In the AB hybrid model, students will not attend school on Mondays. All 912 students are expected to remain at home every Monday while we are implementing the hybrid model. We will continue to welcome any questions you may have during this transition to virtual learning. Thank you for being so patient. This is a year of firsts and a year of grace. Together, we can make this one of the best years we've ever had. Thank you.